everyone and welcome back to my channel Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs so please remember to take only what resonates to your particular situation and leave the rest behind. Uh, these messages are also timeless which means that whenever you're seeing them is exactly when you were meant to see them. And as always guys thank you so very much for all of your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscriptions, they mean the world to me and I know these messages mean the world to somebody and you are helping deliver those messages to them so congratulations to you too. We are growing this channel together you guys and I am very proud to call you my soul family, my soul tribe. You are welcome here. All right guys so let's take a few moments to call in Archangel Michael to help please guard and protect this portal while I channel energies for my divine collective. Please allow only messages from the divine white light, ancestors from the divine white light, angels from our divine white light to come forward for my collective to give them the message that they need. Please divinely protect and shield them on their journeys Father in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what Spirit wants to share with you today. Divine Collective, my divine light workers, star seeds. Whew. Dang, there's a concern here with the bad health card. There's concern with bad health. Uh-oh. I saw the mature woman in there. Oh, yeah. Death. Death. You may be somebody who is a healer, a doctor, um, somebody who's providing a service for some kind of health, health care, and you're losing a patient. Or you may be a very close, you may be giving advice to somebody like a friend group, a family member, and you're losing their their understanding, like they're starting to make the wrong choices and they're ignoring all of the advice that, that you're giving them. And you know that it's going to end up leading to bad health and death. But it's like you can bring the this person to the well, but you can't make them drink, you know? You can just show them the answers. They have to be willing to accept them. And unfortunately, you can't control that with people. I'm sorry, you guys. That's frustrating. Oh, yeah, there's a community card, too. I'm going to leave the community card out because it feels like everybody has been telling this individual or trying to reach this individual and this individual is just not listening. You know what? I want the tarot. Let's dig into the tarot. Huh. Concern. What is it? Concern for bad health. Got the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You may be... Maybe your business is in bad health. Maybe you're in danger of losing your company. Like the community that you live in, they love you, but there's just no sales. There's no money coming in. Oh, yeah. You know that's the truth. You, you know what's causing this. And you may be losing your company. Or, like I said, it could be that other timeline that I'm looking in. And it could be an individual who is not listening to your advice. It could be both. It could be you are giving that intuitive guidance to this individual about their business and they're ignoring your information 
They're ignoring the advice. And it's like you're watching this train wreck happen. And this poor guy's coffee shop is going under. Well, that was specific. Coffee shop. Maybe, maybe it's a coffee shop that's going under. Or like a little cafe or a place where you can get like a deli sandwich and an iced tea. Or grab a cappuccino or a stop and you know, pull out your laptop and check your emails. Maybe that kind of a, um, a company is starting to go under. Oh, I'm sorry if that's the case. Oh, it's a husband and a wife. We had the King of Pentacles before. You may be losing your, your family business. Maybe your family business is failing and a new adventure is starting. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. But I feel like you have a good a support group in your community. Like, you're well-loved. People understand what's going on. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. That's terrible. I wish I could go buy a coffee from you. Look at you, Empress. Sitting there saying, I know, I got it, we'll get through this, we'll make do, God provides. And you know what? You're absolutely right. You could be a mother figure that's having that sage-like wisdom trying to comfort this horrible situation. Oh, you're giving out great advice, Empress, whoever you are. Whoever you are embodying that Empress energy, you're giving out really good advice. You're, you're sowing hope into this impossibly horrible situation you are a very strong individual and we appreciate your service empress that popped out and you get the emperor you may be helping out your husband by pulling and tapping in to your empress divine gifts your goddess-like gifts and you're helping lubricate this transition into this bad circumstance that's happening in your lives. Whoever this divine couple is, this husband and wife, you have it all and you don't even realize it. You may be losing your company, but do you realize how valuable that is to have, to be an emperor and to have an empress, a woman who embodies that Proverbs 31 embodiment of what an empress is what a woman is supposed to be called to do in the bible you've got it you've got it empress you are amazing emperor you you may have lost your business but you you're the richest man in walnut grove and for anybody who watches little house on the prairie you will understand what that comes from <laughs> You are the richest man in your neighborhood. Even with that, even with this failure. Yeah, you're planning the next leg of your journey. Spirit is helping you out. Your community is pitching in, helping out. Opportunities are going to start opening up for you. Once this, um, once this transition happens, once foreclosure or the lease is up on the building and you shut your doors for good um i get the impression they're showing me that movie of you got mail with meg ryan and tom hanks and they're showing me when she ex finally accepts that her business is closing she couldn't keep it alive and she's standing there and she's watching the doors close for the final time. And then she goes home and she doesn't know what to do. So she just makes a bowl of soup and she sits on the floor and just starts eating it. Like, I don't know what to do. What do I do now? My dream is over. But then another opportunity came in. And then she was, be able, she was able to write children's stories and change her entire career around. But she wouldn't have been able to go into those blessings had she not gone through the 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 closure of her business and i feel like this divine couple understands what's happening you know you guys understand and you sir you have a wife that understands that too oh yeah your wishes are gonna come true though it's a blessing in disguise you guys i knew it 
I knew it, because you guys are in the upright. That empress was in the upright too. You guys are in the upright. You're approaching this with the right attitude. Guys, it seems doom and gloom, but uh, why would wish fulfillment come out? With judgment. This is God raining down judgment on you saying you've done it. Your dharma is coming in. This is a rebirth card. You might have resided with angel number 666 reading. This is a message of rebirth. Death of a business, rebirth into something new. That wish come true. I'm sure your wish wasn't always, wasn't always once upon a time to be about your business or that business that you married into or your father's father's dream carrying that on. Maybe it was, but I guarantee you, you had a different dream a long time ago, even as a child. Maybe you thought you wanted to work with animals. Maybe you thought, I really want to, to, to be a dentist, not a surgeon. Maybe my passion is orthopedic care, you know, helping people walk better because I realize that they don't need medicine anymore. Maybe I want to give up my, my trade as a doctor, pushing medications out on people and start solving the problem and go into orthopedics and create and invent new prosthetics that help humanity walk easier so they don't need that medication for pain relief. Solving opioid problems. I mean, I think you had bigger ideas than what you landed in with this family business. But I think this family business helped you develop the skill set you needed for whatever it is that you're stepping into. These are new ideas. Okay? This is the Page of Swords. This is a good card. This is an ambitious card. This is a, I've never swung a sword in my life, but I am going to try it out now. You know, but you have confidence in it because you have this idea in your head and it just won't go away. And spirit won't let you because you're divinely meant to be in it. Ooh, I like that. Holy Spirit, give us some closing messages for this particular individual who seemed... Listen to your empress. Closing message is mom always knows best. Your wife always knows best. The man is the head of the family, but the woman is the neck. And she can turn the head any way she wants. Okay? He may wear the pants in the family, but she's the one that lays out those clothes every night because she knows what's going to look good on him the next day. She knows what meetings he needs to prepare for. She knows that this tie over here makes him look a little bit silly and I need him to be a little bit more professional because he has a big meeting with the big boss today or the big client today. This is a woman who knows her stuff. Closing argument, moms know best. Your woman knows best. Your empress knows best. Your counterpart knows best. Trust each other. She'll trust you. You trust him. You know what I mean? Flip the rules as they reverse or as they need. Oh, yeah. And you have the sun card. I don't need to pull any more tarot. This is the most positive card in the reading. Now I know that you're seeing a theme here. Everything ends so positively on this channel. And you know why? Because I'm helping manifest those positive things into your life. And I believe it and accept it because it's coming out in these cards. I can't make it up. How do you lose your business and come out with the sun card, with the wish come true, with your divine counterpart? Okay? Intact. Nobody's harmed. And if a man loses everything he's got, has he ever really lost his worth? Or is it the beginning of a new and brighter beginning for your life? That's what I think it is. Wow. Wow. Spirit says the rest right now. <sighs> Take a breath. 
you may not be resting for a long time. You're going to probably be working very, very hard, but you're going to be working very hard at making your dreams come true. Your childhood dreams, your dreams that you had once upon a time. Let's pull some divine messages for you both. This divine couple, these, this husband and wife team that have lost their business or are going through this transition of old cycle to new cycle, Holy Spirit. Because right now, we're struggling. We're having some hard times. It still doesn't take the sting of this out of it. But I know with your guidance, we'll be able to know exactly what we're meant to do. Holy Spirit, please provide. And there's one. Please provide two more. Please and thank you. There we go. Two more. As requested, ask and you shall receive. Since there's two of you, we'll put both feathers out. How about that? All right. This emperor and empress. God accomplished my cleansing of sins and riddance of guilt. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. God already took all the bad away. All of your sin, all of your shame, all of your guilt, everything that you laid down at the foot of the of the throne, at the foot of the cross, it's already been transmuted out of your life. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You're free of it. You're free of it. This is a rebirth happening for you. This is the old being cleared out so the new can come in. I know you've heard that before. I heard someone go, oh, that's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that means. Eureka. <laughs> Jesus has all authority and power in heaven and in earth. And whatever is his is also mine. He gives me authority to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew's chapter, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 19. You are anointed. You were given the authority to make disciples of all nations. Not sit in a coffee shop serving, serving cappuccino for the rest of your life. <laughs> but I have a feeling that coffee is a very important part of this message. Or maybe you're somebody that drinks like a pot of coffee a day. Or you're somebody that has to have their cup of joe. <laughs> their cup of java. Um, I like that. I mean, I love my coffee too. But I think that you also feel that coffee is healing. To you and it is I actually um, know that having coffee present for somebody who's going through an asthma attack actually helps caffeine opens up um, vessels you know it just makes everything a little bit more fluid and it helps out when you're going through like an asthma attack I had a kid brother that had asthma learned a lot all right folks because I listen diligently to the voice of the Lord, my God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which he commands of this me of this day, the Lord, my God, will set me high above all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. This is saying, I know. I know that if I follow God and I follow the divine, they are going to place me above everybody else, no matter what. You must stay diligent. And this means that you may go through some hard times, but it's not for punishment. It's God just needs you to be a little bit patient. Take whatever information out of those situations as lessons, as healing, as growth. Whatever resonates with you in that moment, take it. Whatever doesn't resonate with you, leave it behind. Don't just apply that in tarot. Apply that to your day-to-day -day life. If you work in a toxic work environment, but maybe you have good interactions sporadically throughout the day, take only the good that resonated with you that day, leave the rest of it at the office, and go home. 
and be with your family. Hug your kids. Kiss your wife. Kiss your husband. Uh, hug your dog. Hug your cat. Go outside. Take a detour on the way home and go get an ice cream cone and make yourself feel like a kid again. I craved root beer floats. Like, for a month. Until... I finally said, okay, spirit, apparently you want a root beer float. And then I saw every one of my angels' heads go, uh-huh, we want a root beer float. We want to drink a root beer float. So I went and I got root beer floats every single day after work for like a week or two. And it was like the most delicious thing I have ever tasted in my entire life. I actually had root beer floats for my, my birthday. I didn't want a cake. I wanted root beer floats, and I did. I got the diner food. Like, I got burgers, fries, sodas, root beer floats, you know, for dessert, and it was awesome. It was the best birthday dinner ever, you know? <laughs> but this is beautiful, you guys. This may be the end of a cycle, but this is a birth of something very, very special, and your spiritual gifts are going to be entwined in this. This is a moment for creativity. Put your heads together, you two, whoever you are, Divine Collective. And, um, you know, really knock the socks off of everybody in this world. And I want to know who you are whenever this all happens. So I can say, you were part of my collective. Yay! I want to support you guys. So please remember to like and subscribe on your way out. We're going to go ahead and close this message for today. Keep it a little bit short so you can get out and have some fun outside. Not sit on your phone and watch tarot all day, right? So um, I want to respect your time as well, guys. So Thank you for everything that you do out in the communities. Thank you for everything you do for myself in this channel. These messages are for you. Take care, everyone, and God bless.